Hello everybody, this is Sheikwa, the Little Kins Chihuahua, here with your fourth episode of Heartbeat Confessions. In the last episode, we found out that Brian got asked to join Sprocket and Peekaboo on a double date. Who he asked to join him? Kenny the Ginger Cat heard from Carrots and Jellybean that his girlfriend, uh, Blizzard the Himalayan, was cheating on him. Is he going to confront her, or is he going to wait and let things kind of roll through? Ghost the Wine Runner found out about her ex-boyfriend Big Ben dating her best friend Flower. How will she take it, and how will Opal take it when she finds out what happened in her house? And last but not least, the famous actor, Jem the Beagle, and his girlfriend, Belle the American Cocker Spaniel, have arrived, have arrived in Webkin's world. And who's the, who are their two biggest fans? Carrots and Jellybean. And what's going to happen? <laughs> You'll find out only one way on this episode of Heartbeat Confessions. Oh, it's such a lovely day in spring it is. Mm -hmm. I do love the sun and the flowers and the butterflies and the bees. And the, um, excuse me, miss. Oh, oh, you frightened me. I, I didn't think anybody else was out here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Brian the Black Panther, and hey, wait a minute. Aren't you the one that dumped my best friend? Huh? Uh, is your best friend Sarabi the Giraffe? Yeah. She, she didn't get over it very well. Yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Oh, don't apologize to me. Although I know you've apologized to her, so I won't say to go ahead and apologize to her. I'm Rosie. Rosie the Little Kins Panda. Very nice to meet you, Rosie. Oh, well, thank you. So, what brings you here? Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> so, um, my friend, uh, Sprocket and his girlfriend, Peekaboo, they, um, they asked me to go to the movies with them, but they clued me in that it's a double date. So, so you need a date? Yes, yes I do, I need a date. Oh, um, uh, so I was wondering, um, if you would go, you know, with me to, um, to the movie? Uh, well, let's see. I don't know. I mean, after what you did to Sarabi... Oh, oh, no, please. Uh, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I'm just kidding. Of course I'll go. Besides, Sarabi needs to get over it, and there's no quicker way to get over it than for you to get another girlfriend. G girlfriend Well, I mean, isn't that your intentions? I, I, yeah, that, that would be great. So, wait, we're, we're dating now? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Yes, I kissed you on the cheek, goof. <laughs> Since we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, I can do that. Right, right. Yes, of course. Um, so I'll see you tonight, right? At seven. I'll meet you there. Wow. Things are going better than I planned. <laughs> I'm just going on Facebook and tweeting on Twitter and talking to my friends on Amazon Messenger. Do, do, do. She better answer the door. Huh? Who's me at the door? Oh my god, Kenny? Hi, Blizzard. Where's Oreo? Huh? Oreo? He, he doesn't live here, hon. Don't call me hun. Oreo? Oreo? Where are you? I know you're here. Are you talking to him on a line? No. Oreo? Um, look, Kenny, listen. I, I, I know what you're expecting, but, um, Oreo's not here. Really? That's a surprise. Uh, what are you talking about? I found out about you two, okay? Don't try to d deny it. Tell me. Tell me that you two are going behind my back. <sighs> yes. Yes, we are. Look, Kenny, I'm really sorry. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're sorry. Sorry that I found out. Look, okay, Blizzard, I know that you like him, apparently, but supposedly you like me, too. I do. I'm not done yet. Sorry. You need to decide whether or not you want to go out with me or not. Really. I mean, like, honestly, please, decide between me and Oreo, because I'm not going to let you just cheat on me like this. This is completely hurting me. So, once you decide, let me know. Oh, this isn't how things were supposed to turn out. He was never supposed to find out. Now what do I do? Yeah, 
Yeah, and then, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's, it's tough, because, like, she's my best friend, and he was my ex, and she could have told me. Yeah, I know how you feel. Sort of. I mean, like, the one time I got a girlfriend, she went behind my back and made up with my best friend. He's a husky, so, I mean, you can understand. Yeah, that really sucks. Mm-hmm. I mean, who would like a wrinkly old pug like me? You're not wrinkly and old, Mr. Wrinkles. Oh, please. Just wrinkles. Mr.'s kind of proper. Okay, then. You're not old and ugly and wrinkly. Uh, wrinkles. Trust me, you're not. Well, if you say so. So, what do we do now? I mean, like, I don't know what to do. Well, they do say that the best medicine for getting over an ex or a hurt like this is finding somebody else. Like you? Like me? Yeah, I really like you. I mean, you don't like me? No, 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 no. I, I, I actually, I really do like you, Ghost. But, um, you sure about this? Yeah, I'm totally sure. Hey, we can even have a first date tonight. I heard that the new Gem the Beagle movie's coming out. Hey, and, well, I've got two tickets. Big Ben and I were supposed to go, but that's not really working out so well. He's going with Flower instead. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, really, it's okay. We can go. Yeah, that's true. So, see you there at 7? See you there at 7. I don't understand what happened. Okay, so we were using your house to watch the movie, like you said, right? Yeah. And then when the movie got over, we were talking about it, and we were about to leave, and the ghost knocked on the door. And I didn't know it was her, and when I opened it up, it was her, and she barged right in, and, well, she saw Big Ben. Oh, wow. I guess I'm going to have to talk to her. She's probably really hurt. She was. I don't think she's ever going to like me again. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hate you. She just didn't expect this. That's why we were trying to move things slow. Yeah, I mean, Big Ben blurted right out and told her that we were going out. I wish he hadn't done that. Don't worry. You talk to him, I'll talk to Ghost. In the meantime, I guess, well, are you going with him to see the new movie tonight? Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be really good. Anything with Jumbo Beagle's good. <laughs> He's cute. Um, so, is it okay if I go with you? Oh, yeah, totally, sure. I'll just, I'll be sure to tell Big Ben. Okay, so I'll get a hold of ghost, ask her if she's doing okay, and then you, me, and Big Ben will go see the movie. Awesome. <sighs> do, you think we've, do you think we've gotten away from them? I hope so. I'm not one for running. I'm supposed to be a show dog, after all. Yeah, yeah, I know, honey. I know. I'm supposed to be an actor. This is a lot of running. Jelly bean. Yeah? I think I spotted him. Are you ready to move in for the attack? Totally ready. Surprise! We found you! Ah, no! Ah, guys, we've got to run! Jump down here! What, are you insane? Please go, or please jump! Please just give me a little kiss on the lips! Oh, hurry! What do you three jump! Ah, you're insane, Belle, but okay. Wait, come back here! Oh... I've got to go find Jelly Bean. Where did she go? This was the fourth episode of Heartbeat Confessions, and this is Carrots Bunny signing out for all of us. Goodbye!